That's when I was like, it's a pomegranate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, we're just about to watch Transformers. You want to join us, birthday boy? I mean, sure, but uh, my birthday's not till Thursday. Ah, those are minor details, but uh, what do you say you bust open this bag of chips here and we'll get started? Okay. <laughs> Okay, did I seriously just get iced inside of a chip bag? Get pranked! Now get down on one knee and drink it up, birthday boy. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode. What is up, everybody? It's your man, Zach Hoops, and welcome back to this week's episode of Zach's Picks of the Week. It's my birthday week, everybody, so we got a great lineup of stuff coming out here for you from the website, CanadianBees.ca. Please go check it all down in the link in the description below. But I've got five recommendations from the website that you are all going to enjoy because they are a great lineup of brand new music that I have chosen for you here on Zach's Picks of the Week. And if you don't like it, well, you can just go check out the website and find yourself some brand new music that is good enough for you. But if you value my opinion, then you'll definitely take my word for for it and check these out here on Zach's Picks of the Week this week, okay? And like it says on my coffee mug right here, in case of emergencies, just ask Zachary. Oh crap, now you know my first name. Well that's embarrassing. Eh, whatever, I'm turning 26. But anyway folks, let's get into these five recommendations that I have handpicked for you lovely listeners out there here on Zach's Picks of the Week this week here on CanadianBeats.ca. Without further ado, let's kick things off with number five. To start things off here on My Picks of the Week, we've got multi-platinum, gold award-winning, and internationally acclaimed producer, composer, and guitarist Jesse Cook, who just released his brand new single, Updraft, available now on all streaming platforms, so be sure to go check it out now. Along with this new single, he's also released a music video for his previous single, Orin. You should be able to find that linked in the article over on the website. That was posted for the support of these releases. These two songs arrive before the release of Cook's 11th studio album. It's called Libri and will be released on Friday, December 3rd, so be sure to keep your eyes up for that. It is described as Cook's iconic Spanish guitar that takes elements from multiple instrumentalists. Be sure to go check out the full article and learn more about this very cool song and artist. But right now we're going to check out a clip from this very sweet new track here at number 5 on Zach's Picks of the Week. This is going to be Updraft by Jesse Cook. Okay, this might be a weird question to ask out of nowhere, but is there anybody else out there working out some uh, childhood trauma of being flashed by a bunch of guys in kilts? Yeah, me neither. Uh, anyway, on an unrelated note, after what seems like an eternity of not covering any shows for the past year and a half, our West Coast correspondent Connor Payne was in need of some good, loud, high-energy music. So naturally, after he found out the Real Mackenzies were playing the historical Rickshaw Theater in Vancouver with three other awesome bands, including Ray Gun Cowboys, The Anti Queens, and Doghouse Rose, well, he just knew he had to go check out that awesome show and I'm glad he did. Please be sure to go and check out the article on the website for Connor's full concert experience and the full album over on the Facebook page, but be sure to go and check it out. And these are going to be some of Connor's highlights from the show, so be sure to go check out the full album as well. Link to the description down below and right here. These are going to be some of the highlights from Connor's experience and right now we're going to check out the title track from The Real Mackenzie's last album called Beer and Loathing at number 4 on Zach's Picks of the Week. Next up, we have joining us on the picks of the week, Calgary alternative R&B artist Yuame. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that there, but she is drifting into the recesses of her mind to contemplate first love on her latest video for Moving Quietly. This track will appear on the forthcoming EP, Butterfly Effect, which is slotted to be released for December 8th. Be sure to keep your eye out for that when it comes out, but also go and check out her new single right now on all streaming platforms, and also go and check out the full article linked in the description down below there to the website Canadian Beats. But right now, we're going to check out a clip from Moving Quietly by Yuame 
here at number three on Zach's Picks of the Week this week. Let's go check it out. Over for a minute now. Making it into the top two, we've got a brand new five question interview with Winnipeg based singer songwriter Garrett Niels, who's unveiled his debut single, Stumbling Home, which is a pop rock track about taking accountability for your actions in a relationship. You can find it now on all streaming platforms that you're taking in music these days. But the new video for Stumbling Home features jump cuts of Garrett singing on top of rooftops, alleyways, and under some neon lights. Just adding another flavor to this momentous track. Check it out up next and find out more about Garrett through the five questions with him on the website. Link to the description down below. Hello, and of course, we're going to check out this clip now from Stumbling Home by Garrett Niels, right here at number two on Zach's Picks of the Week this week. I know I can keep loving you with my eyes closed. Last but certainly not least, we've got multiple CCMA Award nominee and MCMA Award winner David James delivering not one but two versions of his new single, That's a Life. With the first version of the song being for radio and the second unique version of the song was created for a partnership with True North Sports and Entertainment. It's going to be the new celebration track for the Winnipeg Jets and I'm sure you're going to be hearing it at a couple of games coming up, but be sure to go check it out over on the website for the article. That is going to be linked in the description of this video or on this week's post on the website, but you've been patient enough and we have got it here at number one one on Zach's Picks of the Week. Please give it up for David James and his amazing new single, That's the Life, at number one. For you and me, young and reckless, wild and free. Those right there are going to be all my recommendations for Zach's Picks of the Week, so I hope you all enjoyed them. Over on the website, CanadianBeats.ca is where you're going to find them, and they're all linked in the description down below on the YouTube video, but if you're watching us on Instagram, be sure to go check out the link in our description, or bio, whatever we call it there, and go and check it out, linked there, and you can go click and go head over to the website, Canadian Beats. I'm really bad at these things now. I'm sorry. I just got, you know, iced. It's all my fault. Ah, calm down, baby. It was just one, okay? And everybody, be sure to go check us out on all your favorite social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, link to the description down below as well. Or if you're watching us on Instagram, just be sure to follow us and slap that like button and send this off to your friends. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we'd also greatly appreciate it if you guys wouldn't mind taking the time out of your day to hit that subscribe button and punch that notification bell right in the friggin' dinger so that he's ringing for days and hit that like button as well and send this off to your friends by using the hashtag weekly beatdown when you share online. You did not just say weekly beatdown, did you? Anyway, uh, it's actually Zach's picks of the week. Be sure to go and share it. If you're sharing online, be sure to go and say, Zach's Picks of the Week and not Weekly Beatdown because that show is not around. <laughs> I think you two had a few too many of those ices before I got here. Yeah, and honestly, I think we should probably just keep all of this at this point. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week out there. Be sure to have a safe one out there and go and check out all the awesome stuff that we have over on the website, CanadianBeats.ca, like I said before, because all the very dedicated authors over there are posting all the time for you. So be sure to go and check out all of their awesome work. And that is it. Have yourself an awesome week. My name is Zach Coops. And this has been Zach's Picks of the Week, not the Weekly Beatdown. And you all have yourself an amazing week out there. Peace, love, and good music. Uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> have a good one. I'll see you all next Monday. And uh, yeah, happy early birthday to me. It's on the 18th anyway. If you want to say happy birthday on uh, my socials down there, I'll put them uh, right there on the screen. But anyway, keeping all this in. And this has been your boy Zach Coops. I'm going to keep drinking coffee. Bye.